Here you can see a diagram of how I have connected the uh, probe to the Arduino. Uh, you use the uh, pin uh, A5 and then ground, and between those two you connect uh, your probe. So this could be the, uh, the material and this can be the bit, uh, or however you like to do it. And then another feature I want to point out is the spindle relay here. I have added a spindle relay and I've basically connected the uh, uh, plus 5 uh, and the ground and then the signal goes to the third uh, pin on the spindle relay and that connects to uh, the pin number 12, spindle enable and that will allow the x to uh, turn on and off as uh, the G-code is started and stopped. So here you can see the modification I made to the, uh, the power supply. I basically took out the uh, MOSFET that is uh, supposed to control the spindle speed via the uh, pulse uh, width modulation input uh, here. So I took that out and that left me room to uh, uh, glue on, just with double sided tape, a simple relay uh, that I will use for powering on and off the, uh, the spindle. And you can see it connects with these uh, three pins right here and I can show you a relay of the same type here here it is and uh, it has three connectors it's a signal so that's the one that will trigger the relay and then it just needs to have a, a, a plus five and a ground all the time so as soon as you then get a signal it will uh, trigger and then uh, uh, you connect the spindle over here which is what you can see I have done here and if we follow the, the black wires then uh, I have soldered them until uh, onto the terminal here and one of them is uh, essentially just uh, the ground it's this one and the other one uh, connects to where the um, the um, the tree uh, the MOSFET was sitting so now it's open and then the next uh, point is this one uh, where the big diode is sitting and you can see I have also removed that one so basically then this is an open circuit so uh, it's not in any function anymore so that's why I can use the two wires here and as soon as they connect I get the ground connection for the spindle because uh, the, the plus is always on, uh, plus here on the two other terminals. So that's how uh, the part is uh, made uh, inside the power supply. And then let's take a look at uh, what I did uh, to the, uh, uh, the control box part. Yeah, so here you have the control box with uh, the different modifications I made. Uh, if we start to focus on uh, on this one, this is the connector for the uh, spindle relay. Uh, you have the wider signal and then uh, pl plus five and ground. And uh, if we zoom a little, a little bit, you can see this is the connector where you have the limit switches coming in. You have the, uh, the, the three uh, axes here and then on the neighboring one, I have soldered it on on D12. This is where the spindle enable signal is sent out. And if we go to the other uh, side of the uh, the board here, you can see uh, where I have soldered down uh, the two other wires. The uh, and they connect to uh, plus five, the red one, and ground uh, the uh, black one. And if you count up. From, from this side you have the first hole open, then the next one is a ground, the third one is a ground, and the fourth is plus five. So this is number four and this is number three. And uh, then uh, let's just see what I have put over here. I basically drilled an, an extra hole and put in a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack connector. And you can see there's a red and a black wire coming off it. So if we follow the red one here, it goes down to the uh, Arduino board 
and it connects to the analog in A5 which is used for probe and then the black one goes over here and it is next to the black one from the relay in hole number two where there's ground so basically I have ground and I have probe uh, connected to my jack uh, so I can use this for probing uh, and I will show how these uh, modifications uh, work um, also from the computer so here's the control box all assembled uh, just for now I have removed the fan uh, uh, I don't think it's heavily necessary if you don't run rail extended jobs the, I have had a finger on the stepper controller and they don't get really hot uh, as for now so you have the, um, the jack uh, for, uh, for the probe here and on the other side you have the wires coming out for the spindle relay going into the, to the uh, power supply box <coughs> and in the front you have uh, the, the uh, connectors and I've used them in the normal way so for spindle uh, plus and minus and uh, plus and minus for the stepper controllers and uh, with the uh, changes I've done on the, on the main circuit board uh, inside then this switch is basically out of operation as well as uh, the uh, this one and then uh, of course uh, I have uh, my probe uh, I have these ones on the one so you can get a good grip on the bit with one and one to your uh, uh, surface of the material alternatively some kind of uh, conductive piece of metal and then of course if you have that on top you have to deduct that uh, uh, the thickness of that so you will put it in here and uh, then let's uh, try to see how it works uh, with the probing let's envision that we want to cut uh, this uh, three millimeter aluminum plate I need to know uh, the level of the surface and uh, put that uh, as uh, my work uh, piece zero so first thing I have attached one side uh, so I get kind of, uh, connection to the uh, plate and then another one on the bit and uh, then I will go to the uh, computer and issue uh, the order which is uh, G38 Point two, and then space Z minus 15 space F20 so the G38.2 is a command to make the probing then the Z minus 15 would be probing for 15 millimeters and the bit needs to be closer than 15 millimeters right now it is in the order of maybe a little less than 10 so that's fine and F20 is the speed so it will go with 20 uh, millimeter per minute so in the command line I'll just kick in that and then the probing starts and here we have the surface and the stops and I get a, an OK on the computer then in order to uh, say that this is zero on the Z axis then I will issue G92 space Z0 and then the uh, work coordinates on the computer uh, goes to zero and then I can of course use the uh, command to move the, the spindle up and down because now it's all calibrated so that moved it 10 millimeter up and I can take off this one and just to show how the uh, the uh, spindle relay is working I can issue a command for that so I give it an M3 and in order to turn it off I just issue M5 and that makes the spindle relay go on and off this is then just a close-up of what is on the computer and you can see the, the Z is now at the 10 millimeter because I moved it up and then you can see the uh, the probing uh, command here G38.2 Z minus 15 feet rate 20 and it comes with a probing command and then I'm setting uh, the set of the Z 
to zero in this command and then this is where I did the uh, spindle on and spindle off uh, commands. So if you want to uh, zero on a, a non-conductive plate like this MDF plate that I want to cut then one option is to use a conductive plate. This is 4 mm stainless steel uh, that I have and then attach that and then of course when it hits this plate then it's uh, the 4 mm higher so instead of issuing G92 set 0 then you would issue a G92 set 4 instead uh, to compensate for the thickness of the plate. A third option for getting a good uh, zero for the z-axis is uh, to uh, zero it on the work table rather than the top here and then it's of course not zero there but then it would be minus the thickness uh, of the plate and the benefit of that is uh, that sometimes the plates are not really what you expect them to be so this is supposed to be six millimeter MDF um, but if we take the caliber, then it's not 6 mm, it's actually 6.75. So if I had made a cam file with uh, 6 mm, then I would still have uh, close to a millimeter left in the material. That you can avoid by uh, zeroing on the work table and uh, then uh, basically just tell your uh, machine that uh, this is minus six millimeter and then in your cam file you will then just tell the machine that it's six millimeter and then it will work out for you really well and you will cut through the material but not more than that.